Hi, next up I'm with Marco Beltrame. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. So you have been composing for quite a while. Um, how did you get started composing? Uh, well, when I was little, I took piano lessons and found that I um, was more interested in sort of rewriting the pieces than actually practicing what was supposed to be practicing. So I knew early on that I wanted to be a composer. I didn't know it was for movies, but um, I knew I wanted to be a composer. So how did you get started in the movie industry? Well, um, when I was in college, I realized that, and I was going to music school, I realized that um, you either have to be like a professor and teach, or you have to do something commercial. And I didn't really know much about film scoring, but I knew I didn't really want to teach because I didn't have much to say at that point. So um, I figured that I'd go out to Hollywood, and, and um, I had an opportunity to study with one of the great film composers, Jerry Goldsmith. And... Um, that's really where I learned about the business. Now, looking at your the list of shows and movies that you have done, it looks you've done V, Scream, The Hurt Locker. Now, do you? It looks like you like doing a lot of drama, also some horror movies. Do you have a preference in the type of movie that you like to compose for? Um, you know. I think any movie can be fun musically and have its challenges. Uh, the most important thing to me is that the movie's good and that I, there's something that I latch on to that I can contribute to. Um, the um, horror movies have you know, sort of started my career with Scream and um, I think that came naturally just because I studied 20th century music and it lends itself really well to that but um, I, I think Dramas are I, I feel more suited to. I, I'm not a I'm not really a huge fan of horror movies, um, just because I I think I scare easily. But um, um, so as a whole, I, I, that's not really my my thing. But to write the music for it is is definitely fun. So is it a challenge to sit in the movie theater watching these horror movies? And what do you do to prepare yourself for these you know these scenes? <laughs> Well, I don't really go that often, um, but if, I'm, for instance, if someone wants me to score a movie and it happens to be a horror movie, sometimes I'll have a screening and I have to watch it, and, and um, you know, it can, I, I get all sweaty and, and, you know, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, I think other, other venues would be better. Sure, sure. No, uh, so, Scream 3 is going to be coming up. Did you have, yes, did four. you, oh, Scream 4, that's yeah. right. Now, did you help compose the music for uh, Scream 4? Were you mostly with just the previous um, Scream movies? Um, no, I've done all four of them. It, it was, uh, Wes Craven was the director for all of them, and um, he wanted me to do the music for all of them. So, it um, sort of connects thematically from the previous ones. Do you ever wish that there was music playing in your own life? Well, like, like I was in a yeah, movie. Yeah, like in a movie, like right now. And what would be playing in your? What would be playing like at this very moment? <laughs> That's a strange question. <laughs> uh, um, horror movie, music right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I. Um, um, you know how certain things will stick in your head for a while. So, whatever. Whatever is, my memory is not that good, so whatever was probably the last thing that was in my head, it's probably the music that I was thinking of, unless I'm working on a project, and then I'm often thinking, I'm sort of in my own cloud thinking about what I'm going to do. So it's, um, I don't often think about um, a soundtrack to my own is life. It, yeah, is it hard to unwind at the end of the day? Uh, when you're constantly thinking about different tunes and melodies, and, and what do you do oh, to I'm to insom- unwind? I'm an insomniac. I don't sleep. I, I have a real hard time. Um, it it's really hard shutting down, shutting it off, and um, uh, it can be problematic. I you know I try not to drink too much. <laughs> like we all should, right? Um, but. Uh, 
you know, it, it's it's definitely one of the things that I haven't found the answer to yet. How to shut down and turn it all off and relax. And um, but hopefully, hopefully before I die, I will. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll all find a way yeah. to be able to meditate and right. yeah, and center ourselves yeah. for sure. Well, I want to thank you so much oh. for talking with sure. us today. Very fascinating, okay. and I really look forward to listening to uh, your upcoming uh, your upcoming music. Thank you. Thanks very much. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.